Hey there! Welcome to this tutorial video for approvals for Monday.com. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up a multi-stage approval process. Let's dive in. First, we need to make sure the approval status columns are set up on your Monday.com board. Once the approvals app is installed, you can find the approval settings within any item by selecting the settings icon here. We'll start by adding two important columns, approval status and approvers, into our Monday.com board. This will give us a clear view of all the items going through the approval process at any given time. To add a custom column, select the Select a Column option and then press Create New Column. This will automatically add these columns to your Monday board. Now, let's head back to our Monday.com board where we can see the two new columns have been added. We recommend changing the names of the columns to Approval Status and Approvers. The last step we need to do is change the approval statuses to better align with how our approval workflow operates. To do this, simply click the gray status label to open the list of default labels and then select Edit Labels. You can call the statuses whatever you wish, but for ease, we're going to go for the following statuses. In Review, Approved, Rejected, Not Started, and Pending Review. Once your statuses are configured, click Apply and the status labels will be updated and that's it. Now that we have configured our status columns, it's time to set up a multi-stage approval process. Let's start by adding an approval to an item in this board. This can be done by opening any item on your board and clicking the Approvals tab, which you can see here. Next, select Add New Round to start the approval setup process. You can now select your approvers and rename the approval round to something more meaningful, like marketing team reviews or something similar. Next, we can add our approvers by selecting the Add Approver field. We can start to select the individuals or teams from the scroll list or filter the search by typing the individuals or teams' names. It's important to note that you can have up to three approvers for the approval round on the free plan. However, with the pro edition of approvals, you can send any item for up to 10 rounds of approvals with a maximum of 20 approvers per round. Once we have selected the approvers, they will automatically be placed here within the approval. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will go ahead and create the other two approval rounds. In this tutorial, we'll also make use of another pro feature, which is sequential approvals. This will send an item for review in a specific order, and it will not pass onto the next stage of the cycle until the previous approval round has been completed. For a seamless, structured approval process, let's configure the approval rounds with the sequential approval process. To set the sequence of approvals, navigate to this icon here, which states the order of the approval. Add a number into this field, and this will set the desired order for the approval rounds. And finally, press Start to kick off the approval process. The approval status has now changed to Pending Review, and the approvers would have been notified by email and an in-app notification that their approval is required. Let's take a quick look at how you approve an item if you are an approver. In this example, I've been requested to review and approve an item. As you can see, I received a notification through an in-app notification, but I also received an email notifying me that there was an item for my review. Once there, I can open the approval round and select my approval decision on the right-hand side. This will open a comment field where I can leave any comments supporting my decision. If you have no feedback, click Save, and the status next to your name will show as Approved on the item and if the approval is still progressing through the approval rounds with the sequential process. The overall approval status will show as in review on your Monday.com board. And there we have it. That was a quick run through on how to add a multi-stage approval process in Monday.com. Just remember, you are not alone when using approvals for Monday. There are user guides available to help you use all of the features and functionality in approvals. Some of the guides also contain tutorial videos that walk you through these features in more detail. You can also find these resources through the Approvals app here. If you have any specific questions about approvals or require technical assistance, we have a UK-based customer support team available to help you. For now, though, we hope you and your team enjoy using approvals for Monday.com.